our border, but now the U.S. Border Patrol is warning its agents to look out for Mexican military units. You heard me right. Mexican military units on American soil that could be a threat to their life. With me now, the reporter who broke that story, Sarah Carter, from the Inland Valley Daily Bulletin. Thank you so much for being with us, Sarah. Talk about this story that you stumbled across. You were just doing uh, reporting on immigration work, and you, yeah, you uncovered a bombshell. Talk about it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I spent the last year um, covering our border, both the southern border in Mexico and the northern border out here, uh, all the way from San Diego into Arizona. And one of the things that I had heard often was from Border Patrol agents is these incursions, Mexican military crossing our border, assisting drug smugglers, uh, with and also human smugglers across the border. Uh, I heard this over and over again, and not only from the Border Patrol agents, but also from the immigrants themselves, who would hide on the other side of the border before they made their run from these drug smugglers and, uh, and from the Mexican military. Uh, so I, it began an investigation for me that started late last year, um, actually early last year into late last year when I was able to uncover the documents. And, and Sarah, you're saying that the Mexican military is actually crossing into America repeatedly? I'm not only saying that, um, I believe I know that, I believe the documents prove that. These documents show 216 incursions over the last 10 years um, of Mexican military into the United States. And just today, I received information from uh, a chief deputy actually out in Hudspeth County, Texas, and the FBI confirmed today that Mexican military incurred uh, at 3 o'clock this afternoon in Texas uh, into the United States assisting drug smugglers and I was able to confirm that before I got on the air with you tonight Joe well, uh, it's it's a stunning story and we have your military me uh, Mexican military incursion a lot of people uh, along the border would say it's a military invasion let me bring in TJ Bonner stay with me Sarah TJ is the president okay. of the National Border Council uh, TJ uh, Sarah says there have been over 200 uh, incursions into the United States by Mexican military units. Does that number sound about right to you? Actually, it sounds a bit low, Joe. It, it happens on an all too frequent basis. And it's not just an, in its, an innocent geographical blunder where they come across and go, oops, we'd better turn around. They have fired upon our Border Patrol agents on several occasions, striking two of our agents just last year. Why, why, are, why are they shooting at our agents? because our agents are standing in the way of them getting drugs into this country. And what's our federal government doing about it? Has the State Department stepped forward and made a protest? Has the Department of Homeland Security uh, talked about this issue as uh, being a great threat to America and certainly it's Border Patrol? They're pretty silent on this issue, Joe. Uh, we complained vocally after a 2000 incident where Sixteen soldiers chased our agents around, fired shots at them. All we got back from the White House was a form letter thanking us for raising concerns about water boundary issues. No one ever it's followed through and did anything on these issues. And, you know, then five years later, we had our agents shot up by a Mexican military down in Tucson, Arizona. Well, it's unbelievable, TJ. And Sarah, is this, is this happening because... The Mexican military is uh, really in the pockets of some of these drug cartels that, that operate along the border? Yeah, you know, let me begin by telling you, I've spent time in quite a few of the border towns, and I heard that over and over again. If you go into Agua Prieta, or if you go into Sasebe, Mexico, even out here in San Diego along the borders, you'll hear that over and over again from the people that actually live in those communities. A lot of them are poverty-stricken um, communities, and, and most of the migrants huddle, you know, in the canyons and such near those communities. They'll tell you that they see them doing this. The cartels um, pretty much run the border towns, from what I gather, and uh, many reporters have been killed on the other side, you know, they get too close to these stories. But at this point in time, I think, you know, like what TJ said, you know, our State Department hasn't acted on this. Um, I'm continuing to follow these stories, and like I said, today, the FBI was able to confirm where Mexican military were crossing the Rio Grande today, and they were actually uh, 200 yards in across the river with mounted machine guns 
pointed at mm. our Border Patrol agents, at our chief deputies, uh, in Hutchins County deputies, and as well at the Texas Highway Patrolmen. So it, it's interesting that the State Department doesn't mention this or that Chertoff downplays this, but I, I think it's a very serious issue, and um, I believe that the cartels are are able to buy out some of the Mexican military personnel Sarah, that are along the border. I'll tell you what, Sarah Carter, thank you so much for this report. It is very frightening. TJ, thank you for being with us. I know a lot of Americans are very concerned tonight. And as you said, this continues to happen. It happened today, and our federal government doesn't seem to be interested in it. Obviously, there needs to be an investigation on Capitol Hill. I'm going to be talking to my friends in Congress that have been concerned about this issue, and we're going to demand an investigation, and we're going to demand action. They can't keep coming into our country and shooting at our border patrol. Coming up, 60 days in jail for a rapist. Well, that's the sentence of the Vermont judge handed down. But tonight, another outrageous rapist sentence in Vermont. What's going